My sweet suffering, all my sorrow, I share them with you. Let's duel! Welcome to this installment of the Digimon 30 Day Challenge as part of Digimon Month 2019 here on the Code Crown YouTube channel. Originally, I found this on Twitter via the user Dorumiko, and while I completed this challenge back from September to October 2018, I thought it might be fun to do it over for Digimon Month 2019 and have the chance to expand on some of my answers outside the limits of the Twitter text limit, as well as maybe see if my answers have changed or evolved since then. Eh? Puns. So let's get cracking with today's question. So... Day22 is asking, who is my favorite villain? And I don't think this video is going to go on too long because there is one answer and really one answer only. Akihiro Karada, Digimon Savers or Digimon Data Squad uh, for the dub. And cruel, cowardly, maniacal, and unlike Ke uh, Kenichi Joji, unlike Neo Saiba, Unlike uh, Ukyo Orikawa, Karada was the franchise's um, first genuinely evil human, at least as far as the anime goes. Analog Man in the Digimon World games? I don't remember exactly what he was, so for the purposes of, purposes of this video, we're going to say the first genuinely evil human was Karada. With a genius mind and a bloodthirsty hatred of Digimon to match, this guy built his own Digimon to hunt and eradicate others. He recruited his own data squad to combat and antagonize Masaru and Co. He blew up the Dats HQ after working himself, or worming himself, I should say, into government. Um, he... <laughs> And by that I mean government agencies dealing with uh, Digimon. He he got himself uh, pretty high up. Uh, he had no qualms in using Toma's sister to turn Toma against Masaru. Or at least so we thought, as we discussed in prior episodes. He raised, he incubated, raised, and awakened a demon lord. Which, like, holy shit, if you're going to go that far. Ah, uh, okay. It's just, he's the kind of villain that you love to hate him. He's got a really stupid reason for hating Digimon in the first place. Like, his origin story is basically, he's a nervous geek, and he gets spooked. And then just goes, yeah, they're evil, I'm going to become Digimon Hitler. And, and that's it. That is his backstory. It's so stupid. But the stuff he comes up with, the plans, his how intrinsically he makes everything and how easily he gets away with it all too he is definitely top tier villainy um for this franchise you know it's he's such he's so good to love to hate and uh, i think the franchise needs more villains like him whenever he's on screen you can be guaranteed it's shoot time <laughs> One other thing I want to quickly point out is he is such a dick to Digimon that when he's around them, and particularly when he's around the main characters of Digimon, he pretends to have allergies. He pretends to have allergies to these digital reptiles and plant animal things. How does that even work? He's just such an absolute dick through and through and it makes the character even more hateable and for and it's just a small little touch to um how the character is presented that i love it i love him so let me know who your favorite villains are down below i can't wait to t i can't wait for you to tell me how wrong i am or who your favorite villains are and i'm curious over the seven eight seasons now who you guys prefer prefer or do you agree till next time take care